it is a $55 billion copier segment, which we think is absolutely right for disruption. Uh, the A3 copier market's a bullseye for us. It's a $55 billion mature segment. It's lacking innovation. It's service intensive. It's complicated. And the technology that Samsung has developed over the years with more than 6,500 patents and 1,300 world-class engineers brings a very disruptive print kind of technology to the A3 copier space. We expect this deal will be accretive in the first full year of operation, one to two pennies. Uh, we do see significant synergies in the business. We're we are acquiring uh, the print business uh, globally and uh, with the very vast extensive uh, distribution channels that we have. I'm here in Boston today with more than 1,400 partners at our global partner conference. We have real confidence in our ability to disrupt this market. Now, Dion, uh, Amit Daryanani, an analyst, has estimated that Samsung's printer business was bringing in between $1 and $1.6 billion in sales per year. I I'm wondering how you expect that business to look five years from now. I mean, print, scan, copy is, is sort of a, um, a legacy of, of pre-mobile, pre-cloud business. You've uh, remarked on how this arena has not innovated much in the past couple of decades. How is this going to be different five years from now, and how does this purchase set you up for that? Well, I think you're absolutely right. We're disrupting a, a very outdated $55 billion copier market with superior multifunction printing. It's cloud first. It's going to be very highly secure. We're going to take all the technology that we've developed over many years in our printing and personal systems business and apply it into the Samsung portfolio so you'll have world-class security. You'll be able to service these devices remotely. Um, it's just going to be a complete game changer. The number of serviceable parts in these products will be you know, uh, about seven versus more than 24 in the traditional copier. That's going to lower the overall cost of service. People are going to be happier. Their machines are working. We're going to bring color at much cheaper prices. It's just going to disrupt this, this entire channel. Dan, how much should we be thinking of enterprise printing as a service, as a managed print services type business versus you actually selling these units primarily into businesses? As we look at how to model this business, again, over the next three to five years, does that simplicity in design actually help your margins because perhaps you'll continue to own the hardware primarily? How do you expect this business model to shake out? Well, indeed, we expect almost all of it to be through managed print services. Uh, traditionally, copiers aren't sold today, but they're sold on a managed print service contract. Uh, customers pay per page. But in many cases, the cost of colour pages, as an example, is extremely high. With this acquisition paired with our page-wide ink technology, when you have a fleet of products, we're going to be able to significantly bring down the cost of colour, lower the cost of overall cost per page, and enable our channel partners, which are a very big extension of HP, to earn more money on our devices. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.